Don't worry, see you, Nick. You seem three weeks later. Okay. Oh, hi, Caitlin. How are you going? Yeah, good. How are you? Oh, busy. A four screaming babies. Yeah, it's pretty tough sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. We should sit down together properly, though, and have a talk about how yeah, things okay? are going. Yeah, I'd love to. All right, this afternoon. This afternoon fine. sounds fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll see no you then. See you okay, later. Bye. Like a super busy clinic. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get this done today. No, no, um, so. Why don't we rain check, make mm. a time later next week? Yes, yeah, that's yeah, okay. That's okay. all right. All right. The biggest hurdle learning at work is finding the time and making the most of your cases as a way of learning. I think the amount of time involved and the importance of one-on-one, -on -one. so sitting in with them to see what they're doing and having them sit in and watch you. It's not that I haven't given the trainee the time they, they need, but it means all the other things I have to do in my work life are being neglected in order to provide the supervision that I know that the uh, trainee needs. Spending time at, during consultations, uh, watching him work, and then discussing the cases afterwards. Generally rub shoulders or see, see them three or four times a day and it gives you the opportunity to uh, talk and uh, exchange ideas and what's been happening. The way in which I reduce my clinical load was doubling the amount of time I have for each patient. And so that means I've got time to stop. And so if they come in or I need to go in and see a patient, I've got time and I can catch up. And I also limit the number of new patients I'm now seeing and they go to the, the other staff. So most of the patients that I'm seeing, or many of them, are patients that I've known for a long time. And so it allows me the opportunity to go in to sit and discuss. And there's always time at the end of the clinics too where we sit and review their, their caseload. So if I haven't actually been in and seen the patients we've seen, they discuss them with me and they present them. To, and that guides them to some extent. Making sure that the trainees know that they can knock on the door. Um, and then having a, having a time at the end of the clinic um, where, you know, we can, where it's assumed that we'll meet up for a chat if we didn't get to chat during the time of the clinic. We have sort of two sessions, so two till three, they get a new patient, I see two reviews. There's no one booked, theoretically, between three and 3.30, and that's the time they feed back. They feed back to me in the other room that I'm in, and then we go back and we have a case discussion with the family. Um, and, so, and then we do the same again, 3.30 till 5. Particularly at the beginning, that works really well with the trainees. Hey, Daryl, how are you going? Oh, hi, Caitlin, how are you going? Not bad. That was an incredibly busy clinic. Yeah, I think I've just seen my last page for the day, so I should be done. Good, excellent. Mm. Okay, cool. Dr. Ching, yeah. um, I know you've had a busy day, uh -huh. but can you see one more patient? One more? Yeah. Uh, um, why don't I take it? I'll take it. You sure? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll send them over. Alright, I'll come and grab the notes from you in a tick. Great. Okay. Thanks, Alice. It's been really busy. Are you I'm, sure? I'm very happy to see the patient. But why don't you come along with me? Uh -huh. You could observe if there's any discussion points we can sit down and have a chat about okay. it and cover the issues you were worried about earlier in the day. Sounds good. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm.